Hey Knights, welcome back to the Night's Watch. It's that time of year again, Hassan. October? Winter is coming. The trees have lost their leaves, there's frost every single morning, and the hallways are way too full at lunch because it's too cold to go outside. Hmm, I have been having to try to push my way through the halls lately. Exactly. Thankfully, it's also pumpkin spice season, so we got that going for us. Doesn't the smell of pumpkin just immediately make you feel nice and warm? It's the best. Speaking of nice smells, have you paid for your 2019-2020 yearbook yet, Hassan? Hold up. <laughs> what does yearbook have to do with nice smells? Just roll with it, Hassan. Megan, that's, that's a terrible segue. Segways are lame. I prefer those new lime scooters. Did you know there's still one of those sitting in the office because someone thought it would be a great idea to ride them up and down the neighborhood while skipping class? Never change, Queenie. Alright, yearbooks? Right. If you haven't paid for this year's yearbook, head down to the office right now to pay for one. There will, be, there will not be any extra orders, so if you don't pay for this year's, you will not be able to get one when they arrive next year. Also, I hear Mr. Macaulay will hunt you down. <laughs> yeah, you don't want that, trust me. Alright, have you started looking at what post-secondary institutions you want to attend to send? No, but I'm, but I'm guessing we're, we're going to give some important information about post-secondary. That's right. We have open house season starting this month. If you're interested in learning more about these institutions, the programs they offer, how to apply, and what financial aid is available, make sure you head down to the open house days to find out more. This information is super important to those of you in grade 10 and 11. It is never too early to plan for your future after high school. And often, you want to start your application process as soon as you can, not at the end of grade 12. Okay, hit me up with those dates, Sam. First up, Nate is holding their open house over two days, Friday, October 18th, and Saturday, October 19th. Concordia University is also holding their open house the same Saturday, October 19th. The University of Alberta is also holding their open house that Saturday. Sounds like a jam-packed weekend. Clear schedules, Knights. King's University College and McEwen's Uni University are holding their open houses next month on November 2nd. Isn't that the same day as Day of the Dead? See. Si. Cool. So if you're interested in learning any more about these open house days or have any questions regarding post-secondary, make sure you stop by Student Services. Speaking of student services, there's a cool program starting up during Flex. I heard about this. It's called Girls Empowerment and Strong. This is a weekly program for girls who want to address the realities of being a teen girl and who also want to work on making strong and positive choices for their future. They'll be discussing topics such as body image and self-esteem, goal setting, healthy relationships, self-care, and many other topics. Make sure you sign up if you're interested. Also, see Student Services if you have any questions. Okay, and one more Student Services announcement. Tutors for Affordable Education is a student group from the University of Alberta that is offering free tutoring for high school students for most core subjects. This is a really cool opportunity to access a service that can, that can be expensive, plus you can make connections with current university students. The tutoring sessions take place every Wednesday and Thursday from 5 to 7 p.m. at the University of Alberta. They will be run at the Edmonton Clinical Health Academy building, room 1 to 121. Check them out, and if you have any questions... Go ask student services. Okay, for those of you theater-inclined folks, Citadel's Club's first play is happening this Tuesday, October 8th. You must go to today's meeting at lunch in room 222 for, for information about the afternoon. You will get a light supper, refreshments, and discussion before the play. Have fun, everyone! Okay, enough of us. Let's see what's happening in the Royal Reports. Thanks, Megan and Hassan. Okay, let's check out volleyball. Our junior girls don't have a home game this week, but they'll be playing against Louise St. Laurent this Tuesday at 5 p.m. The senior girls are playing against St. Joe's today in an away game. It's not too far if you want to go cheer them on. The game is at 5.30 p.m. Finally, our senior boys are playing a home game against W.P. Wagner this Wednesday. The game is at 5.30 p.m., so stick around to cheer on your senior boys. Okay, our football team is playing their last game of the season this Thursday against Holy Trinity at Emerald Hills Regional Park. Isn't that at Sherwood Park? Yeah, it's a little far, but it's not too far when it comes to supporting our Knights. Right, Megan? I sat next to you at last week's game. All right, let's see what's happening with our events this week. 
The Royal Guard is having their fall festivity celebration next week. Next week, October 15th to the 17th, there will be different events taking place throughout the week to celebrate the coming of fall. Some of the events include pretzel and root beer sales, food eating contests, and some warm drinks in the morning. Keep an eye out on, the, on our Instagram for specifics, as well as next week's episode for a detailed list. Alright, back to you Megan and Hassan. Wait, where's Hassan? Hassan? Um, can I get some help here? We still gotta finish the news. I got you. What's going on? Well, Edmonton Public Student Senate has asked us all to share a website they've developed with important information for students to check out. I see. They've also produced a really informative video about substance abuse and vaping in particular. Seems like something we should all be aware of. Agreed. The website is on screen above us. As well, make sure you add the Google Classroom for your grad, grade 12s. You don't want to miss any important information. Go check it out, Knights. Where the heck is Hassan? I have no idea, but hey, Megan, what time is it? Wait, that's not on the script. 